Hi, well, it's Monday. Hope you all had a super weekend. Thank you to everybody who sent in your VE Day pictures. Uh, we really loved seeing them. So let's start the week with a really lovely goldfish. So we're going to do our warm up on just a scrap bit of, bit of paper. I always do this just to feel like I've got my arm nice and warmed up. Just do a few shapes in. Let's start with a few ovals because our fishy is going to be a kind of oval. So I'm just keeping my pencil grip very loose, just making those shapes. And then have a think about these curves out because we're going to do this. We've got fins and we've got tails and they're all curves. So there's, I don't think we've got a straight line in this drawing. I want you to think about your wrist, think about your elbow, think about your shoulder and think about doing some curves. That's it, let's draw our fish. So we're going to start on this first one with our bowl. And what I want you to do is on each corner, we're just going to do a little curve. So I've got one there. I've got one there. I'll turn my page slightly. Can you see how loosely I'm holding this pencil? One there one there so we've turned it into from a square into our fishbowl and then we want to put the water line and rather than just doing a straight line across we're going to do it in a little curvy line like that so if you just pause and get those first shapes in right now let's pop our fish in you can put it where you want and if you want you can have more than one fish I'm just going to put one fish in here, but feel free to put more. I'm going to do a couple of dots here just to help me show where I want my fish to be. And then I'm going to go up and just like we did in the warm up, just a nice curve. And then coming round and the same here. So that's our fish body. And then thinking about the tail, I want on both sides you to take it like that and like that. And then we bring it in. And we bring it in there and that's our first fish so if you pause now you can put this in if you want to do um you can put more you can do four or five lots of little small ones but that's your basic fish shape right so we'll start with a little smile here he's a happy fish and then a circle with another circle around you can make that quite big if you want that's his um fishy eye and then a little gill. Now, what really makes him look like a goldfish is when we come up and we put this top fin here and I just want you to go with that kind of slightly wavy triangle there on the top for that. And you can in there pop a few little lines as well, although we'll put those in with the pencil later. So coming under the fish, we want these little fins as well. I'm not sure whether they are fins. They're the shapes we want to put in, and we've got one more there. And then here in the tail, another few very light little lines, which we're going to do with the watercolour pencil at the end. Now, here at the bottom, this is our little bit of grit. So you can take your time over that. And what I want you to do is lots and lots of small shapes. And when we come to do these in colour, we're going to do them in loads of different colours, like a rainbow bottom to our fish tank so I am going to just do these really quickly but you can take your time and you can see we've got lots of different shapes here keeping your pencil very loose sort of circular but make sure you put a few other shapes in as well until we fill the whole of the bowl with them now at this point if you've got paints hold on and we'll we're, we're going to just paint it all together if you've not if you want to do it in crayons or pencils or felt tips you color this all in but stick with us now and we'll show you how to paint it So I'm going to do this using my watercolour pencils. I've got a real selection here and I'm going to start by just, I'm not even drawing around this, I'm just going to gently colour this in here, avoiding the eye, going down into there. 
because what I'm going to do right at the end when the orange is dry is I'm going to go around it with a red. So if I take my brush here, this is quite a big brush, but we can't see another. This is fine. This is fine. I was just trying to reach over and get another one, but we can do it here. There we go. So all I'm doing now is just turning this orange into paint. And we're so glad that lots of you are sending us messages saying how much you're enjoying the watercolour pencils. We do absolutely love them. And um, we've had amazing success with them at the Little Art School. And we're also selling them through our charity now as well because we're, we give art lessons to people who are living with dementia and people who are isolated at home and these pencils are perfect for that. There's so no mess. Right, so we're going to leave that there like that and now I'm going to just, in each corner, I'm going to put a bit of black like that, very loosely. And much more, oh, this just stuck my hand there. <laughs> much more neatly, trying not to squash my fish. I'm just going to go around with the blue there. And that's going to be the corners of my bowl. I'm going to take my clean brush here. I'm going to do the blue first because I don't want black on my brush. And you see, by wetting it, I'm just bringing that blue in. Do the same around here. It's such a lovely effect that you can get from them. There you go, bringing that blue in. I'll do the same there. And I'm going to do the same. Around. And if I take just an ordinary wet brush with a bit of water, I can go around this like this and it will just mean that there aren't any solid edges there. Just going around my fish with this very light blue, but not touching the orange. If I touch the orange, it will immediately run in. Can you see how pale that is? And it will actually dry even paler than that. So that's my blue. And then I'll just wet my brush again. I'm going to turn this there like that. And I'll just make the black into a sort of grey colour. It's just so that the edges look slightly different. And the more I work the paint in, we get rid of the marks there. Okay. So whilst that's all drying there, so that I can go back into the fish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around each of these. Now we're not going to do all of this because we'll be sitting here. 20 minutes but I'm just going to go over a few of them in a grey and the one on the picture is just in a grey but I thought why not try experimenting so I'll do a few brown I am just in the mood for purple today I'm going to stick a few purple ones in and a few pink ones as well and then I'm going to do something really fun so you can do this much more carefully than I'm doing. I'm doing it, as you can see, very quickly. Not much attention to detail. A bit more around there. Let's come put a bit of pink in there. Finish with a brown one. Now I'm going to take my big, big brush here with lots, plenty of water on. I'm just going to go like that. Can you see? I'm just going to soften it all in. So that is my multicolored gravel at the bottom of my fish bowl. And whilst that's drying, I'm going to do the last bit now by coming in, I'm going to go around the fish eye like that, black in the middle and round. I'm not going to turn anything else to paint now. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to put these marks in, in red. And look how I'm just going to leave my pencil so it goes, lifts off the paper like that. the back of the fish and he's got some little scales that you can put in there with just small marks don't forget his I think they're called gills are they gills and his little smile coming round and on there we're just gonna finish it off like that that is our goldfish <laughs> enjoyed that 
make sure you can you take the picture and just change it around add some extra bits to it do whatever you like um tomorrow we have got some very tasty ice lollies it's quite a jolly little picture that you'll be able to take and make it into your own so we will see you tomorrow mm -hmm.